Does that look okay on there? Uh huh. Okay. Yep. You want us to not walk, look at you? No, it's fine. I have to, I have to like look at everybody because, okay. like, I have to pretend like no. I have to act like I'm getting a formal speech. Okay. But have you ever had a teacher that impacts you? I have. Um, her name was Miss McCormick, and she was my second grade teacher, and uh, she treated not only me but everyone else like we were the future adults of America, and I thought that was really uh, considerate. I, I, I liked how she t taught. Um, obviously, as every single one of y'all know, she... <sighs> I'm nervous. Elementary school is required. Um, every one of y'all have kids that will be in elementary school or have been in elementary school. Um, but one thing that isn't taught is responsibility and kindness. Um, it's not required to be taught. Um, I am going to school to be an elementary school teacher, and that's one of my main goals is to just really bring out more moral values, more good values uh, in students rather than just teaching them the bare, bare minimum. Um, job requirements are, I mean, essential. You have to get your bachelor's degree. Um, proper curriculum is important, but I think so is uh, teaching students about moral morals and how that can actually honor God without bringing God into the classroom. So how do you know if teaching is right for you? Like I said, you have to get a bachelor's degree. Um, you also have to be a student teacher for a semester. So that means you have to go in the classroom and teach as you would if you were already a teacher. Um, you also have to get your license and there are a few assessments that you have to take which include but are not limited to a basic skills like just to make sure that you're knowledgeable and a specific subject test if you plan to do a specific subject. So you've done all those, um, you get a job offer. The median uh, for South Carolina is $60,000 a year as an elementary school teacher. Um, but it can range anywhere from forty-five dollars to $90,000 a year. But um, in South Carolina, it's actually grown very fast, um, about 7% as of, um, in 7 as of, and 7% growth of meeting elementary school teachers. So you've done all that, you've got your degree, you're, you're ready to go. Uh, so what do you do when we start teaching? Well, curriculum is obviously set by the state and each state will vary, um, as well as each grade has a slightly more advanced degree or a slightly more advanced curriculum. Uh, and so right here, I actually pulled up the K through five for South Carolina. So if you're wanting to know um, what a second grader will be learning this is for 2021-2022, but um, you can go onto this website and you can find, okay, if you want to know what they're learning in English, uh, you can find that. Uh, if you want to know what they're learning in math, you'll know what they're learning in math. And it gives you... It gives you what they should be starting to learn for each grade. Um, and like I said, it just kind of varies between, it varies between each grade. So obviously what you learn in second grade, you will not learn in fifth grade. Um, and like I said, though curriculum is required, a teacher teaching morals is not. So, um, I think it's very important that, that teachers nowadays start to, implement more uh, responsibility and things like that for students as far as whether they are uh, just 
teaching them to maybe throw away their trash every time that they have trash or something like that to where they have a um, better just so that way they have a better outlook on their life um, and in their future they'll they'll learn to be more kind to other people they'll learn that not everything is perfect in the way that it needs to be um, a caregiver relationship is built moment to moment and so basically your children that you're teaching they watch everything they watch everything you do so if you're setting the example they're gonna follow in that example and I think this um, honors God more indirectly than directly just because you know in a public school you can't talk about God and in scripture and things just due to different religions but I think it honors God indirectly because you're like I said you're teaching them how to be more respectful you're teaching them how to be a caring human um, and teacher behavior and student engagement go hand in hand so you know if you're having a bad day as a teacher and you go and your students see that they're going to reciprocate they're not going to do as good so you need to make sure like upbeat and, and positive about your uh, classroom even if you are having bad days because like I said these are the these are the future adults of America so um, when becoming a teacher you do look at many points including requirements and academics and how we should show good moral values so next time you see a teacher maybe see them as not just doing the bare minimum see them as helping your child become someone that they can eventually be better than what they they can be better than what a teacher doing the bare minimum would would do like it, it they become better adults basically so yeah <laughs> thank yeah. you no